Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will talk about premature ejaculation and the latest treatment modalities to treat this problem permanently and for the long term. If you are suffering from early discharge, then this video is for you. So please listen to it fully because I will be giving you in a crisp uh, seven minute session everything that is available to treat this problem. So premature ejaculation basically means that you are ejaculating before your own satisfaction or before the satisfaction of your partner. The International Sexual Society of Medicine describes or defines PME is as ejaculation before one minute. But if you are ejaculating even more than that, but you're not ejaculating to the satisfaction of yourself or your partner, then you are suffering from premature ejaculation. There are many causes of premature ejaculation, but in long term or in the short, they have been described into three causes. Local hypersensitivity, spinal reflex problems, or the weakness of the PC muscles or the weakness of the levator muscles. Local hypersensitivity means that the glands or the foreskin area has very high sensitivity because of which as soon as intercourse starts, the sensitivity leads to signals in the brain which leads to early discharge. The spinal reflex or the untrained spinal reflex basically is the theory that the sensitivity is fine but the spinal reflex arc which connects to the CNS is so fast or so rapid that it is not able to control the or delay the ejaculatory response and it happens as soon as intercourse starts. And the local PC muscle weakness theory says that the levator muscle which is supposed to hold, which is supposed to prevent or which is supposed to delay the ejaculation is hypersensitive and as soon as intercourse starts, it causes a, a impulse which causes the weakening or the loosening of the pelvic floor leading to loss of the semen leading to ejaculation. So the PME treatments that have been explored all over the world target either one or two of these mechanisms or known mechanisms to treat PME. So what are the treatment modalities and what treatment modalities do we follow? First of all, I will talk only about those modalities that have some scientific nature to them. And these modalities have long term results and I have been using them in my patients suffering from PME and we have results. But end of the day, PME is a long term treatment and requires a lot of uh, effort and care from both the doctors and the patients to get good results. So for local hypersensitivity, the three most common treatments that we use are first we assess whether the patient is circumcised or not. So a circumcision can help patients reduce their local glands hypersensitivity. A frenulum can also lead to a lot of sensitivity in some patients and a tight frenulum if corrected can also lead to improvement in the premature ejaculation. Even in circumcised and in frectomized patients, sometimes the sensitivity is too high. A dorsal neurectomy is something that can be used to achieve the same results. A dorsal neurectomy basically means the cutting of the nerves which, which are serving the glands. A dorsal neurectomy may be done chemically or may be done surgically. A surgical neurectomy is usually reserved later but a chemical neurectomy is possible that means with the help of pharmacological methods a neurectomy may be done. These can be applied locally in the form of a lot of sprays and creams that come or it can be utilized with the help of Botox or local anesthetic injections and even PRP to these nerves to reduce the sensitivity in these men. Sometimes we also use something called as glance augmentation with hyaluronic acid or glance augmentation with fillers to increase or to put a layer of fillers below the glance surface to reduce the sensitivity and this has tremendous results in men with hypersensitive glands. So all of these therapies in combination or in separation or isolation can have beautiful effect for men. One therapy that is still controversial is the surgical dorsal neurectomy, surgical ventral neurectomy and also a newer technique called as a switch therapy in which basically a layer of uh, a layer of uh, absorbable or layer of material is put just below the glands which helps in uh, reducing the nerve sensitivity or the nerve conduction velocities at the glance level and these and this coverage or this covering can then later be removed. I have done a dorsal neurectomy and ventral neurectomy with many of my patients. Sometimes I would combine them along with the circumcision. Sometimes we would also do them for men who are undergoing a penile implant with us and it does work well. The switch technique has been started at my clinic recently and I am seeing encouraging results. But as more patient data comes in and as more less invasive procedures are still available, uh, patients tend to choose this surgical procedure later down the course of treatment. Then how do we correct the PC muscle or the pelvic floor? 
So there are a lot of techniques to do that. So the Master and Johnson technique, the Kegel exercise technique, the breathing techniques are basically ways to improve the PC muscle. There are also behavioral training methods and exercise sessions that can be done under a controlled environment to again strengthen the PC muscles and improve the release of emissions. If it doesn't work, then pharmacological treatments like uh, your alpha blockers have an excellent result on PC muscle. Even baclofen or muscle relaxants can also help. One therapy that is showing great promise and has shown great results for me in my practice is the injection of Botox. Botox given in the bulbocavernosus muscle really helps in reducing the uh, sudden urge to ejaculate and it usually has a good effect for 9 to 10 months. But what I notice is that most patients who undergo Botox for PME tend to um, require 2 or 3 sessions to achieve the ideal results. And once Botox is done and they are able to control their ejaculatory behavior with the help of continuous Kegels and PC muscle exercises, these men are able to hold and get good ejaculatory times for a particular significant amount of time. So this comes for the management of the PC muscles. Then what do we have for the overactive spinal reflexes or the CNS drives? So as you know, peroxetin and fluoxetin and acetylopram and depoxetin, these are various combinations and modalities of oral drugs that are available for maintaining and improving ejaculatory times. These drugs can also help men maintain good ejaculation times while they are mastering the Master and Johnson when they are mastering their uh, penile exercises and exercising the PC muscles. So for the CNS benefit basically it's the drugs uh, which help in elevating the uh, ejaculatory times. But these drugs then again have their own side effects, have effect on sleep patterns and learning behavior. So I usually or we usually do not prefer our patients to continue taking these drugs for a long time. So if you are suffering from PME, then there are a lot of options for treatment. There are a lot of methods in which you can get good results and able to achieve good sexual pleasure and satisfaction with you and your partner. So if you have PME and you have any doubts about it, you can always ask in the comment section. Stay tuned to my channel and press the bell icon because I will be making many more videos on PME along, this, along with the surgical techniques and the results that I have achieved at my clinic for men suffering from this problem. You can always write to me on my Facebook ID, on my email or you can read more about and get more information from my website. Thank you for listening.